it's UK Yanker and we're going to do a little video for Brubecue. Right, so we've just been out and we bought a terrible, terrible barrel barbecue from Tesco's. 40 quid. So this is the kind of thing I'm just saying that you can do. That doesn't have to be expensive. As you can see, it doesn't leak much. <laughs> smoke dripping out of it at every conceivable spot it took me about 20 minutes to make but it's, you know it's not bad it actually comes with a thermometer anyway as always for brew bq you've even got to have a brew or a cup of tea or a coffee you've got to have some kind of brew right so there's my brew it is my cue so we're going to go for an indirect bit of why we've just seen the smoke come out there uh, so I've got I've got coals on this side and that side's clean so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put me burgers on one side and see if we can get some smoke action going once of um, what's it called babes where you see me once I've seen the burgers yeah so I'll see the burgers then I'll put them on this side of the barbecue we're currently according to this high-tech <laughs> thermometer <laughs> We're looking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Nice. So I reckon we've been about there, you know, to get this thing going. Okay, let's go get the burgers. So we'll get the burgers and we'll come back. Hey right, folks, so... Right, so this is the barbecue. It's got vents on the side. Pretty cool. Both sides. So, but I think the, the biggest thing about this is, is the thermometer. So I thought as good as it's going to get. It took a little bit of twisting as well to get it to life kind of flat. Got a little shelf inside. It's really easy to put together. You cannot go wrong. So I've done some coals there, and I've put some fresh coals in there, and that's so that when my brothers come later, if they want to do a bit of barbecuing, those should be about ready for them for when they get here. So we're going to use these. Right. We've got Scottish bonnet burgers from Tesco. So that's what we're going to review today. And we're also going to use some flavour smoky barbecue on them. So we're gonna put piri piri but Scotch bonnet and piri piri too much so we're going with barbecue flavour which is a bit weird seeing as what we're gonna do at the barbecue but who knows brand net is pre-oiled up using spray that's why they look a little bit weird and then we'll get these bad boys seared And then we'll move them over a little bit, open the smoke vent and let the smoke slag over them a bit. Okay? So that's them on there now. Not gonna, not gonna touch them too much. Just let them stay on the heat. Right, um, this barbecue did not come with tools, so be wary of that. And uh, these are the briquettes we're using. Tesco's own briquettes, £5.50. First time I've used them, seem okay. Took a little while to get going, but not too bad. Right, guys, so we'll be back. I'm just going to open the vents and just get that really hot for the saving. Okay. Right folks, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna see what the burgers are like, flip them, see the other side, and see oh oh yeah that's nice when you see that one. Oh why am this smoke around right my face? Okay, beautiful. Oh yeah, that one's that one's gone good. Right, a little bit of char, but a little bit of char is quite tasty, so I'm not too offended by that. Right, I just noticed that none of that got on cam, so I've just literally just flipped them. So there's a little bit of char on a couple of them, but I'm not too offended by that. So we'll see the other side, and then we'll move them over to this side, and we'll cook them out. Okay, folks, so these should be nicely seared now. And... I'm doing this on the phone guys, so, you know, 
bear with me. Let me just have a quick check of one. Yeah, it's, it's seared enough. And now we will, sorry, camera work is terrible. I'll just move these over now. And we will use it, go into oven mode now. Pretty decent barbecue for 40 quid. You know, you can get quite a bit on it. So, guys, you know, why not? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, let's go, Doom. Right, okay, so we will be back. Brandy there is making house with all the, the buns and doing the prep. I'm drinking the beers. Good times. Right, folks, so we're at the stage where it's what we're going to try and do on this barbecue is we're going to try and kind of cook these tops of buns and melt the cheese a little bit, okay? So, it's what this barbecue has. It has like a swinging thing there. And I'm not overly confident that this is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. We'll put them over there. Burgers, I've got to say, are looking great. Oh, they've got that smoky, oh, yeah. that smoky redness that you get from oh, yeah, baby. from meat. I'll just push these down a bit. That's going to be a bit over the heat, that one. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, those are only going to get a couple of minutes. Yeah, I'll probably give it about 60 seconds, two minutes. And then we'll check again. All I'm looking for is that cheese to be melted. That's it. Yeah. And we'll see how it goes. So, right folks, pretty much. We're gonna check on the cheese now. And the buns are prepped. So here we go, let's have a look. Okay, well, it, it's, mel it's melted a bit. You can see there it's melted a little bit. I don't want to go too much because I don't want the bed to dry out and it's already starting to dry out a little bit so we're going to get those out at this um, this video is not sponsored by Stella Artois but if Stella Artois do want to contact us the email address is at the bottom right, okay, <laughs> okay so what should we do here babe? so just get the buns out yeah and see, I'll tell you what it doesn't matter if it's just put there does it no they come in mind if you want. Okay. These ones at the back have still softened but not melted quite as much so I don't mind having these ones. When you put a hot burger on it it's fine. Uh, you have to take the burgers out now as well yeah? Yeah they look good. Yeah cool. That's what I'm looking as well. So I'll tell you what I'll just pop the they do look like they're still rare, but they're not. It's that smokiness that you get. Oh, yeah. It turns some meat red. You know it. You know it looks juicy as as well. These are Scotch bonnet burgers, so I'm, up, I'm expecting heat from these. <laughs> I'll be really disappointed. But if they're not, these are from Tesco's. Everything actually you see is from Tesco's. We're not sponsored by Tesco's. However, if Tesco's wants to sponsor us, the email is at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, shall we we'll chat down? Back once we do the taste test, and we'll give you a, a frank and open and honest opinion on the rub that we've used, the Scotch bonnet. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I think the barbecue has done pretty well. With the vents open, you can easily get it over 200 degrees with briquettes. Not much over though. With the vents closed, it goes to about, it stabilises at about 200 degrees C, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly, okay? Mm. So, cheap barbecue for social occasions, happy days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't be thinking you can slow roast a brisket in there for 14 <laughs> hours though. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Uh, anyway, we're gonna chow down now and then we'll, we'll come back and tell you what we thought, what we thought of the burgers, okay? Okay. Very happy. <laughs> okay, so they have Scottish bonnet burgers, like I say. So you expect spice, yeah? They have got heat. They do have heat. Not overly spicy, but I think probably too spicy for some people. 
if you're the kind of person that likes to put extra coconut milk in a karma, steer away from these. Okay? They're not for you. But... <clears throat> That's not from the spice, it's just that little bit, it's gone down the wrong goal. Okay, so, these are beautiful. So they've done, I would say, medium well. Um, <clears throat> really tasty. Enough heat to make your more mouth, mouth saliva, you know what I mean? Yeah. What else can I say about these? So we put a, a barbecue, smoky barbecue rub on these. Um, and it's really nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. That with the scotch bonnet, with the smoke of the barbecue, oh, delicious. How I like to have mine is with ketchup and uh, American yellow mustard on things like burgers and, so and hot dogs. So, it's delish. Uh, we've also got cheddar on these as well. So, guys, thumbs up from me. Tesco's, scotch bonnet burgers. Very decent indeed. Yeah? Yeah. Anything to add, babe? No, except I'm hungry, so hurry right, up. Okay, that's it, guys. <laughs> Listen, guys, so, BrewBQ, please subscribe. Also, if you want your video to appear on this channel, there's an email address below. Send your video file to us and we'll upload it. Simple. Okay, guys, see you later.